All right, yo, Vizant here. This is gonna be the Daladim fight. I'm gonna go through the mechanics, and of course, first things you wanna kind of do is set up. Get hopefully you have some all pals. You, there is one, I believe. If you go to the middle of the room, there's a cutscene on the left side. There's like a chest that you can get that. Um, but yeah, Opal gives you 50% wind and earth damage resistance, and he does mostly earth. Um, so I'm gonna go through the videos. I did do my mistakes, but this is my battle on hard mode. And we're gonna just dissect kind of like the mechanics and how I did to avoid it. I did use a lot of items. So hopefully you can prep to get some life bottles, uh, peach gel, treats, uh, whatever you need, orange gel. I have very limited and I was kind of stuck because you can't teleport. So yeah, let's just get into battle and I'll just talk about it. All right. In the beginning, he does this blue aura over limit. He has increased defense when he does this. He takes a lot less damage if you didn't notice. So you want to save your boosted attacks for after he actually finishes casting it because then his defense boost will wear off. And I like to use Rinwell and Shino and then Kassar and then Alphans. Um, the rocks usually summon like left, right, uh, bottom, middle, and then directly a giant one right in the middle. Uh, a lot of the boost attack allow them to teleport into the location and give them like Iron Frame Water doing their move, right? So after when the giant rock about to fall, I have Kasara come in so he get the iframe. Uh, I usually use save my boost attack for hit when he attacks there. I did it too early at this moment, but that uh, you can get iframes and try to dodge that. So usually he does three attacks um, after he does that. So you want to actually play defensively, jump back, let him do his three attacks just to be safe, and then go in afterwards. So I believe. Like the first half of this battle, he will do three attacks and then he later turns to four attacks. So you got to be careful. But yeah, my team comp is mostly law because I like playing bruiser fighter classes. And then you want Kasara to be there because she has that that boost attack to block guard moves. I was not able to pull it off in this battle per se, but <laughs> you put the time in when he actually starts charging. Okay, so let's go over his... It's kind of attacks after he actually gets out of the daze mode. He does like the spinning regular. He throws a stick forward a little bit and does a spinning attack. And then he usually does a dashing into spinning attack. And then the third attack is usually like the, you just saw, he would like do an aerial kind of spin attack. Or he does a cyclone, which is like an AOE thing. Um, so you just got to be careful. But just, just be on the lookout when he actually grabs his head, then it's when you're not ready. I kind of came here too late. I lost my combo buff. But I usually, and, and just another note, like here, oh, yo, I was going to, I was going to get hit. So I used my boost attack to dodge. And then I actually dodged out of the way and then I got hit because of the multi-hit. Um, I should have gotten out of here after I finished because he was, he was not dazed, right? Um, so that that's, that's my mistake. No one's perfect, but... Yeah, I've been saving Kasara. Sometimes he will c cast spells like Salagmite or like Bloody Howl or whatever, Bloody Fang. I don't know what m the move was called again. So I do have Windwell sometimes, save up for that in case. But sometimes, you know, it's like a like hit or miss. So, okay, yeah. So when he actually goes into this yellow aura move, he would do like this diving move four times. And if you can time it right during the dodge and gets hard to block it, it'll cancel out how his four dives. Um, what you want to do is actually create yourself some distance. And then you want to dive into it. It'll be a lot easier. Sometimes easier said than done, of course. But that is what you want to do. And then he'll go dazed right after that. You can release your combos. Um, I should have got out here. I got hit. So that's the spinning attack. And then he does like this dashing thing sometimes. But just, just be away. Yeah, so now he's dazed again. Get in there, right? So that's pretty much the pattern. And then, yeah, there you go. Now you want to get, create some distance for yourself. Get out of the way. If you can, you can try to iframe with your boosted moves, but it's kind of hard to see because they'll mess up your camera. But yeah, on a second round of dives, he would, you would get a chance to do this, which caused Kisara to daze them even longer and then just unleash more attacks. So just try to pummel him here. And then it's pretty much like a repeat all over again until you get to half-life HP. So just be careful, like, just be careful if you start attacking or if he goes in this charging yellow aura move, then you want to get out of there and just get ready to dodge. See, right at that instance, I actually dodge into it 
And you do not want to do the counter attack until the end because then you're going to end up being closer. It'll be harder to dodge. You want the distance. Until the last one, you can count. Um, there, I did not get out of the way again. Mistakes were made. <laughs> All right, so just be, just, just wait, just wait. There you go. That's about three hits. I like to do Town Hurricane, gives me that aerial attack, so sometimes I'm able to dodge. More dives, here we go. I iframe here, a little bit too too bad. I was too close, right? I should have just dodged. So then I was able to create distance. I didn't create distance because I decided to iframe it. He was right there, it makes it a lot harder. Mess up, and then since you're dead, it'll start targeting CPUs, and CPUs suck at dodging, and then Moon Mode is dead right now because I end up targeting her. Yeah, I have seven. I only have seven life bottles, one orange gel, two treats, uh, about six or seven peace gels, and then um, about the same amount of apple gels. So it's I was very limited. You can't actually teleport, so you're stuck here. You can't teleport and go farm and stuff or go buy items, <laughs> which is unfortunate. Yeah, so if you're able to do any of like these combo strike moves, it'll daze them for a bit, but you still want to get out of there. All right, here we go. Half HP. So he started casting his ultimate earth move again. Be nature, whatever thing is. <laughs> but yeah, you want to be in the bottom south again, just so you can dodge it. You can just stay here. You'd be safe. Just make sure you're, you can keep the CPU iframed. Yeah, sometimes the CPU, they, they fail to dodge. They just get wrecked. <laughs> so try to... If you have a boost attack, you can use it, so you can give them iframes. So they can get, not get hit by rocks. <laughs> Alright, get away, what are you doing? <laughs> Alright, I framed it, but then after that I should have gone away, but... Better just be safe. Apple gel, just to get myself back up HP. Right, so now now there's a chance that he does four attacks now instead of three. Right, so you want to get out of there? Nope, I didn't get out of there again. You get punished. So that's like one, that's like two, that's like a three-ish into a four. Sometimes he does double cyclone hurricanes, so you gotta be careful. And then he'll get back in days mode. But yeah, I try to use the boost attacks whenever I can. Get out of there. Yeah, I didn't get out of there, see? <laughs> but gave me over limit. <laughs> Allowed me to use some mystic arts. Which is nice, I guess. <laughs> but yeah, so once he gets down to around like 15% HP or so left over, he's going to... He's going to keep casting that Earth spell. And then you just want to do the same thing you've been doing. Just stay in the bottom area. Dodge. I, I failed to dodge into it. And then, of course, you want to save your last life bottle for yourself. But <laughs> I actually just used it. Um, spoiler. In this fight. But we, I still beat it. I still beat it, okay? <laughs> Six for me, but I still beat it. All right, I was supposed to get out of there. I didn't. Thank you, Healing Circle. But we still got to skip away for a bit. All right, he's dazed again, so get in there. So you just keep repeating this pattern, and then whenever Alphans or whatever your fifth person is, just keep casting it. Just they're not going to get hit anyways, really. Yeah, I, was just, I should have iframed that with my boosted attack, but I didn't. But it, yeah... Items too broken. This is like the tales of items. <laughs> items is so OP in this. You gotta be careful. Of course, they, the things are so expensive, right? Uh, orange gel is freaking 3k. Light bottles, 1k. They don't give you that much money. Uh, at least for when I'm playing hard mode. I, I didn't play another mode, so I don't know. Alright, gotta dodge. Get ready to dodge again. You gotta time it, right? Here's the goal when you dodge into it, it's a lot easier if you can try to get that. That's why you want to create that distance. All right, we're on the last bar now, one fourth of the way. Get out of there. All right, just 
to try to target you, just, just hang around. I was expecting three, but he did four attacks. I was like, God, really? <laughs> so around, around. So I use okay. So I do, I do the the, the one inch punch, and then I do the tonic fists, and then talent hurricane. That usually allows me to the timing. So depending on your combo, I try to test with your different combos, and see how, how much. What kind of combos you can do just enough to get in time to for you to leave or like get in the air to get out of the way i totally failed i'm trying to like yo can i get a heal Kasara <laughs> is like six hp i have six cp <laughs> get out of there get out of there wait oh my god yeah see i didn't get out of there in time and then i got hit and then i died <sighs> life bottle again Please, you guys gotta play safe, man. Sometimes when you're playing, you get in the midst of the battle, right? And then you totally forgot. But yeah, hard mode has a lot of HP. Oh my freaking god! And I don't, I don't even have the DLC or anything or DLC weapons, so I just have the regular stuff. Okay, here we go. Fifteen percent HP left, pretty much. And he keeps casting this nature move again, um, over and over. So there is a time period where he does this, just like you, you know, casting it. You just want to get to the south area. Um, after he casts and just chill down here, you're fine and just wait. After he does cast, he does jump in the air and then do some kind of weird landing. I think that does damage. I'm not sure. Looks like it does. I don't know. But just be safe. Just wait till he's down, doing it again. Hit him a few times and he's going to cast it again and you run back to the bottom. Just keep doing that on repeat. <laughs> you hit him a few times and he just stay on the bottom and he's like, yo, just keep dodging back and forth. If you can, you can try to use the boost attack to like move your CPU. Just so they don't get hit by everything. <laughs> Runewell, my Runewell is gone. Yeah, here we go. I think at this point, Kasara is going to get hit. Because <laughs> standing right in the middle where the giant rock is, yep. And I have no more life bottles. But I do have a peace shell. Heal myself just in case. But at this point, yeah, I mean, better safe than sorry. But if you just follow that pattern, you can just go back to the bottom and just wait. You should be fine. She knows some surprisingly tanky. <laughs> or like good at dodging for some reason. Go at it, 2,000 HP left. But yeah, I do stream on Twitch. So twitch.tv slash Masada. Hopefully this helps. And these kind of like break down a little bit on how, how to fight him, especially in hard mode. <laughs> yeah, so he does look like he does do a slam thing. Um, I've been playing a lot of like, I do play gacha games. I play, I'm going to try to finish Tales of Rise as well, of course. And if you guys need help with like specific bosses you want me to go over, or maybe when I get there, I can try my best. I do want to play, try the new game plus and everything. But there we go. Good stuff. It's over. Thanks for watching. With that, later days.